they were pretty inseparable. Lawrence and Patsy Adcock. You know, he grew up dirt poor, and that kind of generated within him this tremendous desire to make sure that his family never went without. She had a she had a sense of humor that was just amazing. She made people laugh all the time. On March 29th, Lawrence died. He was 86. The day he died, my mom started running a fever, so we knew she had been exposed. So that was the first sign that we might walk that path again. Their son, Mark, says 10 days later, Patsy died. Just happened to be my dad's 87th birthday. That same night, Mark preached his Easter sermon. I drew a lot of different correlations between the pain and suffering that is a part of this side of, of the, the world, this side of heaven, and the great joy for those who believe in Jesus Christ. Now this life, it's not going to be this way forever because Jesus already paid the price for the greatest victory you'll ever know. After his dad passed, he recorded this Facebook video tribute to nurses and doctors at Community North. One nurse called to give him the news. And she cried with me, and I was blessed. But then she said something that I'll never forget. She said, I want you to know your dad didn't die alone. A nurse was holding his hand. The son of a preacher, Lawrence became a top chemical engineer. Patsy, a homemaker who raised four children. They spent a, uh, an awful lot of years taking us to church and teaching us about things that they thought were the most important things of life. and. Certainly faith was a huge part of that. Mark says his parents knew suffering well. Three weeks after their 50th anniversary in Gulfport, Mississippi, they were survivors of Hurricane Katrina. They lost everything. Health issues prompted them to move to Indianapolis to be closer to family. Mark says while suffering may endure for a night, joy cometh in the morning. They get to, uh, for eternity, enjoy the incredible reward of a life well lived that is founded on a relationship with Jesus Christ. What an incredible story of faith and certainly we'll be praying for Mark and his family. And you can see more of his tribute to his parents as well as to nurses and doctors at Community Hospital. Just go to our website at WTHR.com.